morning, Kennedy Cougars. My name is Sarah Georgie and I am a part of MedBoard. Welcome to our February announcements video. As many of you know, February is Black History Month. And in honor of that, we're gonna start off this video by taking a look at a segment created by Kennedy's own BSA Club. In honor of Black History Month, the Black Student Alliance Club will be giving you some background and history. Enjoy. Many inventors nationwide only produced one major invention. But did you know Garrett Augustus Morgan, a black man, invented the gas mask and three position traffic light? Morgan ended up being one of the most famous African-American inventors in America. Morgan was born towards the end of the 19th century in 1877 to a former slave and passed away at the age of 83 in 1963. Educated to a sixth grade level, Morgan had an innate mechanical mind that allowed him to solve many problems. And unlike other inventors, he was a skilled entrepreneur. He went on to create the first chemical hair straightener, started his own sewing equipment repair business, and even established his own newspaper called the Cleveland Call. Hi, so I'm going to be talking about the traffic signal. So the traffic signal was actually created to help save lives. After witnessing a collision on the roadway, Morgan decided that there would need to be a device that would keep cars and pedestrians from colliding. So his traffic signal was designed to stand in a street corner and it would notify vehicles and pedestrians when they had to stop and when it was safe for them to proceed. So after receiving a patent in 1923, the rights of the invention were eventually purchased by General Electric. As we know, his inventions are still used today. The original prototype of the three-position traffic signal is on display at the Smithsonian's American History Museum and at the Smithsonian's National Museum of African American History and Culture, located in Washington, D.C. Also, the Black Student Alliance Club is open to everyone, so if you would like to join, feel free to come to our meetings every Thursday at 2.30 p.m. to celebrate and educate ourselves more on Black lifestyle, culture, and history. For the Zoom code or for any other information, follow our Instagram account and DM us at kennedy.bsa. That will be displayed on the screen. Or you can email Mr. Scrimger. Thank you. Thank you so much to Kennedy's BSA Club for talking about that. And make sure to go check them out on Instagram. It's linked right up here. Now, let's move on to our next segment, which will be looking at learning tips. Hello everybody and welcome back to another section of learning tips. Today we're going to be learning how to effectively manage your projects. Let's pretend that you have a huge science project that you need to complete in two weeks and you're not sure where to start. The first thing we can do is chunk down the project into smaller workloads, do at separate times before its due date. I personally like to finish the project beforehand so I don't have to worry about it last minute. Also, take account of your other responsibilities and change up your project schedule if necessary. When investing your time into a project, it is important that you remove all possible distractions from your workspace. Remove all possible distractions like your phone, television, and noise. Find a well-lit and well-organized workstation. And practice good ergonomics by sitting up straight, feet on the floor, and device at eye level. Also, get enough rest and sleep every day and make sure that you don't overwork yourself as it can cause negative consequences like poor sleep, stroke, anxiety, and depression. Another tip is to set up an award system to motivate you. Promising an award once you complete a task can really motivate you to work harder. But of course, make it realistic and appropriate. So don't promise yourself a car after finishing part one. That's all for learning tips and now on to the next section. Thank you so much, Parkin, for giving us some learning tips. And there was one really important thing you mentioned. He talked about ergonomics. Ergonomics is really important. Ergonomics mainly refers to your posture. You want to have a good posture, especially when you're doing work, as it will allow you to do work in the most efficient way, and it'll actually reduce stress. All right, now let's move on to our next segment, looking at this month's announcements. Hello everyone, welcome to the announcements segment. For our first announcement, we'll be going over all the fundraisers we have upcoming. For this month, we will be having two Takeout Tuesdays. 
one on February 9th at Panera and one on February 23rd at Menchie's. Next, we'll be checking out all the workshops we have planned. So on February 9th at 3 p.m., we'll be hosting a lantern making workshop. Students will learn how to make Chinese New Year lanterns for the new Lunar New Year. Next, we're gonna be talking about the guest speaker we had last week. So last Friday, we had a guest speaker come in and talk about pharmacology. So special thank you to them for teaching us about something new. That's all from us folks. And just a special reminder, follow us on our social media page at JFK Medboard. Back to you, Sarah. Thank you so much, Sean and Fatima, for giving us a quick rundown of all of the events that Medboard is going to be hosting this month. Remember, we're going to have two Takeout Tuesdays and we're going to have two workshops. So try to tune into both of them. Now moving on to our next segment where we are going to look at the different Wellness Wednesday and healthy living videos that Medboard is going to create for this month. Alternating between Wellness Wednesdays and healthy living videos to help you develop healthy habits. This month you can expect to learn about eye exercises, organization, music therapy, and study tip. Thank you so much for talking about the Wellness Wednesday videos and the healthy living videos that are going to come out this month. Now let's look at this month's PSA video where we're going to be talking about the heart. Hey guys, it's Medboard again. We're so happy to have you here again in this month of February. So this month's awareness is American Heart Month. We'll be going over the diseases pertaining to the heart. So let's begin, shall we? Heart diseases are currently responsible for one in every four deaths. They are the leading cause of death in both men and women. And according to the CDC, nearly 630,000 Americans die each year because of this cause. Some of the most common cardiovascular diseases include congenital heart disease, high blood pressure, arrhythmia, and coronary heart disease. The risk factors that can cause these diseases include high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and smoking. Cardiovascular diseases may sc sound scary, but do not fear, your hero is here. Wow, that rhymes. Okay, so there are no many ways to prevent yourself from endangering yourself in heart diseases. First tip is reduce your takeout food. Yes, I'm sorry to say this, and to myself, no more in and out 24-7. Basically, what you can do to eat healthier is buy more grocery food because uh, they come directly from the farm. They don't become cooked in MSG or any type of formulas that might affect you pretty badly. Also, we all know this. Exercise. Walk whenever you can. Plus, don't we all love Cali weather? Weather for everyone. Whether you like hot or cold, make a day out and walk. Smoking is another way to really... Uh, instigate the heart diseases and uh, it's been proven over the years and if you watch the YouTube ads that some reason keep popping up if you want to watch funny memes uh, I don't need to describe it but you guys probably know all about that since an early age and uh, lastly just monitor your diet and take good care of your body uh, balancing diets can really help you stay safe from cardiovascular diseases thank you for listening to our PSA we hope that you learned something new and we'll see you again next month Thank you so much to the Student Life Committee for talking about that. And relating to that topic, there are many career fields related to cardiology, including a cardiologist, cardio, um, cardiothoracic surgeon, cardiovascular technologist, and even cardio-oncology. Overall, there are many different fields of medicine. So for our fun fact for this month, we're gonna be talking about different fields of medicine. Welcome back to fun facts about the medical field. You need a degree in medicine to become a doctor, but there are other alternatives such as lecturing, research, and scientific journalism. So jobs directly related to the degree in medicine include anesthetist, cardiologist, clinical radiologist, general practice doctor, hospital doctor, neurologist, ophthalmologist, pathologist, psychiatrist, and surgeon. Remember that many employers accept applications from graduates with any degree subject, so don't restrict your thinking from the jobs listed here. Now, let's move on to Medical Math Minute hosted by Mr. Ireland. Hi everybody, welcome back to the Medical Magnet Math Minute, M to the fourth, back and better than ever for 2021. As usual, I'm your host, Mr. Ireland. Today, we're gonna to talk about the BSA or the body surface area. 
which is the total surface area of the human body. There are a variety of uses for the BSA in medicine, one of which involves the calculation of drug dose. So these are two common BSA formulas. For those of you that are interested in competing in the CalHOSA medical math competitions, these are two that you are expected to be familiar with. One of the formulas uses metric system, centimeters for height and kilograms for weight. The other formula down here uses the customary units that we use in the US, inches and pounds. So let's go ahead and try an example out. Here it says your patient weighs 160 pounds and is five feet, six inches. What is the patient's BSA? So we're gonna use the second formula that I gave you on the other slide. And the height, remember, needs to be in inches, so we're going to multiply 5 times 12 to get 60 and add to the 6 inches that are given. So we will multiply 66 times the weight, which is 160, and divide that by 3,131. 66 times 160 is 10,560. We divide that by 3,131 and take the square root of that. We get a BSA of 1.84 square meters. That's going to do it for today. If you have any other questions, please feel free to ask any of your medical magnet teachers. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye. Before this video ends, we have one last segment where you will be creating a DIY with our media committee. Okay. Hey everyone, we're the media committee and today we're doing a new segment for our February announcements video. We're going to be doing a Valentine's Day themed DIY and make sure to follow along if you guys want to. So we're going to be making an origami heart and we'll be answering would you rather questions. So the first thing you're going to have to do is fold diagonally down the square and then you're going to fold down the other way. Would you rather be famous when you're alive and forgotten when you're dead, or be unknown when you're alive, but famous when you're dead? Unknown when I'm alive and famous when I'm dead. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Like all the history books? <laughs> I Pretty much. You would last longer. So after you fold diagonally both sides, open it back up from any corner, fold it down to the center. The next step is to fold the opposite side, fold it to the top. Would you rather live the same day over and over again or die at a young age? Live the same day all over again. Groundhog Day. <laughs> horrible. Have you guys ever watched Groundhog Day? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen oh, references. Yeah. The Vampire Diaries had an episode where like, they just live the same day. You know what I'm saying? But what if you can never get out of it? They did have like a loophole where you can like, get out. Yeah, there's always a loophole, but I don't think I'm smart enough for that. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't you be like, able to go somewhere else and then have like a different, well, somewhat different life? No, I don't think no. you have like... Not exactly, because it's only one day, only 24 hours, you know? Yeah, like... Can't really do much. Same, wow, the same day. Make sure you choose like a good day. Yeah, yeah a good day. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You get so bored. I don't know, I feel like I choose to die at a young age. <laughs> The next step is to fold one side and fold it straight up. Would you rather give up the internet or give up daylight? <laughs> I feel like I'd die without daylight. Wouldn't we all die? Yeah. Oh, wait, no, can we take vitamin D? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, vitamin D. Okay, I guess I'll choose that. Yeah. I don't no, want to give up the internet. <laughs> and then do the same for the other side. Would you rather win the lottery or live twice as long? Live twice as long. Am I helping though? That's oh, a question. Yeah. I don't want to have like. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> maybe like... win the lottery. Yeah. Because it would be like a better life, but it would be shorter. Yeah. yeah I don't and, be, like, like, sick. Oh, you know, like, yeah, I don't want to be really weak, you know? I want to be healthy and I'm going to live for a super long time. Yeah, I agree. So now it looks like this. Fold, um, turn around the other way, and then fold to this line here, oh. and then do the same for the other side. So it's like another little triangle. Do we have any new questions? Yeah, sure. Would you rather never have to eat again or never have to sleep again? 
No, I like eating, so I'm gonna go to sleep. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm Actually, yeah, you're right. So. <laughs> as long as I'm not, like, exhausted for the rest of my life. True. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That point is it. Because if you complain, I do you want to go to the doctor? Um, this side, fold another little triangle. Just, like, the same size triangle as this one. And the same for this side. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think that's it for this segment. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, make sure to tune in again <laughs> next month. Bye. 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 <laughs> Bye. 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 <laughs> oh, <God. laughs>